Thank you very much, Quick Shot. We're here with Fnatic's Febivin and their returning 80 carry Reckless. Yeah, getting that first win on the board with November. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you very much. You. Must feel good. Um, Febivin, I want to ask you first, um, no regular season wins versus Unicorns of Love. Last split around and must feel good also with the finals in the backpack, knowing that you can beat that number two. Yeah, after we played um, at MSI, we were so confident that we could play uh, good at the, in the split. And we always thought that we were a stronger team than Unicorns of Love, but we never figured out how to correctly play against them. But we, we finally figured it out, and uh, I knew we were going to win this game. Can you maybe uh, elaborate a little more? It seemed to us, especially in the early game, that you guys took a different pace to the game and you didn't fall in Unicorns of Love traps when they bait you into fights and you kind of keep fighting. What was the general idea going into the early game? Uh, we knew we had the better picks for the late game, so um, I got the counter pick on mid lane and I almost killed him. He had like 5 HP or something. And we, we were scaling better in late and then we just took every objective and we didn't fall in the trap to fight them. And then we just slowly uh, got CS advantages and then we uh, got good team fights off. Clean. Yeah, I want to drag it back to picks and bans actually. Reckless uh, obviously just rejoined the team. Very confident pick and ban phase. You picked Ash in the first rotation of picks and bans. Uh, maybe you could help explain why the reworked Ash is so strong right now. Um, I think Ash is just this sort of champion right now that like excels on pretty much all. All stages of the game, uh, if it's laning phase, 2v2, if it's laning phase, 3v3, or 5v5 team fights, sieging, focusing on Dragon or Baron, it's just, she's really strong all, all around right now, so it feels like a champion to look out for pretty much. And when they first pick Kalista, I, I consider Ash being like a champion to be able to play against it because Kalista is such a lane bully, so you have a lot of range to potentially cover, cover that weakness, but they ended up lane swapping, so I don't think it was a bad thing either for me because I scale so well, so I just had to like play it safe because they had a lot of CC, so I played it really safe, I think, until I got QSS, and then I played it slightly more aggressive, but it wasn't really needed for me to play aggressive either. I think as long as I didn't die, I would never give them the option of winning the game. Yeah, and the the start of the game was really interesting overall, the way we had the, the 4v0, basically, and then you guys managed to dive under the tower. Uh, what was kind of your thought process there? Did you did you see how Hillesang was a little bit out of position and, to go in there, or was that always going to be the call to dive? Uh, basically, before the game, we talked about if, if their top laner goes under the tower, we're going to try to bait, like if we're going on that guy, and then just turn on the other two that's helping helping him to survive. Uh, and I think Hillisang just made that mistake that he, he thought we would dive the, other, the others and he was just out of position. And then we had like Alistar, who's a great diver, and then he just swaps the aggro and then I got it and I used my summoners. So I think even if you used a lot of summoners, it was like super worth to get three kills there because that like hires the tempo of the game and they need a lot of time to scale up. So it just felt like we could get all these early dragons because of that dive top as well. So we got like a very stable lead in the game, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. But um, uh, to execute a dive like that successfully, as you say, you got to keep an eye on the summoners and all the spells that are up or not. Um, Febivin, I want to direct this to you. It means you got to have a good level of communication already within the team. So how has it been adjusting to having Reckless as an extra voice in uh, the team chat? Actually, it's going really good with the communication because I feel like Reckless talks more than uh, Steelback. So it's just an improvement. Mm -hmm. All right, um, maybe one of the final questions for you, Reckless. You've been around the scene for a while, and even though you're still a very young player, you must have learned a lot, and that there's always been so much expectations when you came in, you know, in the Fnatic team originally, then in the Elements lineup, which didn't maybe work out exactly as you planned. Have you learned to maybe deal with those high expectations in a different way now that, in a sense, you're coming home to Fnatic? I guess I've learned a lot of things. Um... But probably the most important lesson I've learned is to not be so like drastic with my decisions in life, like to think about something more than once, pretty much. So coming home, like I, I thought about it a lot, but it also felt super natural to come home because it was like I've been here for such a long time. And even if it's not the same players, it just felt like very natural choice for me to make. And unfortunately, things just didn't work out in elements and I don't have any grudges against anyone. I don't think they have against me either. It just didn't work out. And that's simply it. Yep. Much. That is simply it, and uh, it does look like you're coming home. The jersey looks great as you own, <laughs> as always. Well, congratulations, you guys. First win for Fnatic here in the summer split. We need to take a short break, but when we return, the newest members of the LCS Origen will take to the stage versus Pepinero and Giants Gaming. Stay tuned. Shut up. Nice coach.
Oh, they've got an Hillestein. That's the bounce on the hop. First blood goes to Reckless. He's back for Fnatic and he's already on the board. That's a two, three man knock against the wall. Who he's trying to do what he can is Febovin has found power of evil. The stun lands it to Hillestein, but it's not enough. Any no flash, any no flash. Come on, come Slowly, slowly, slowly. Just front line. Slowly, slowly. Okay. Front line. Okay. 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 I can have, I can have Annie. Nice. Oh. Hillisang, I think flash board that was oh. instant new attempt for Reckless. But the massive gnar against the wall. Fnatic have just won the team fight. Thanks to Huni. And the Spring Split champions open up summer with a massive victory over the Unicorns of Love.